Good afternoon, friends. This isn't quite the way we had planned to gather together today, but in light of the current climate, it was decided that for the best of the group, we would pause our Lenten devotions and our meal together. But we can still gather in spirit. This week, as we have had everything in our world change and turn, there's been a poem that has gone around on Facebook and has gone viral that I'd like to share with you for our opening words. It's called Pandemic. What if you thought of it as the Jews considered the Sabbath, the most sacred of times? Cease from travel, cease from buying and selling, give up just for now on trying to make the world different than it is. Sing, pray, touch only those to whom you commit your life. Center down. And when your body has become still, reach out with your heart. Know that you are connected in ways that are terrifying and beautiful. You could hardly deny it now. Know that our lives are in one another's hands. Surely that has come clear. Do not reach out your hands, reach out your heart, reach out your words, reach out all the tendrils of compassion that move invisibly where we cannot touch. Promise this world your love for better or worse, in sickness and in health, so long as we shall live. Today, as we gather, I invite you to take heart. And for just a moment, I want you to practice with me taking a deep breath. Breathe in. And let the weight of this week go. Breathe in. And let the Spirit of God be with you.
2 Timothy 2.1 has been our text during this Lenten time. And I just want to take a moment to read it for you. You then, my child, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ. I think it's somewhat amazing that this is our Lenten focus for these Wednesday afternoon gatherings, as it seems that this is a very timely and directed scripture for all of us to have. Be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ. What better words, what better thoughts for us to hold on to? I don't think when the scripture was chosen by the planning team, anyone quite expected this to be how it would be used. And yet how valuable, how deep, and how meaningful are those words to remember the love of God that has been with us from the very beginning. How necessary this free gift of grace is for our lives right now. How beautiful that spirit is among us. That we have a God who shares grace, that we have a God who walks with us, that we have a God who never leaves us. I cling to this promise and know just how deep the Lord's love for me is. I know that this is a challenging time and I know we are having to gather in ways we have no idea how to do. Well, let me share this. I was amazed this morning when I woke up and on Pandora, the song that popped up for me was from Rend Collective, Simplicity. The first two verses brought me to tears. And they go like this. I come in simplicity, longing for purity to worship you and spirit and truth, only you. Lord, strip it all away till only you remain. I'm coming back to my first love, only you. Like I said, there were a lot of tears that came out of my eyes this morning because there are so many ways right now that I know that life is being stripped away. Where we have to gather in ways that we never expected where we have to learn how to be church and how to be community without necessarily being able to hug or shake hands or even meet face to face. Where the only thing we have that binds us together is God's grace. I don't know about you. I don't know that I've ever felt with such certainty this need I have for God's grace, this need I have to be strong in who God is. But I believe that during this time when everything is being stripped away, we will find ourselves relying more and more and more on God. And I invite you during that time to embrace that to rest in God's grace, to allow God's love to be part of your life, to allow it to overwhelm you in so many ways. And then, upon receiving that grace, I invite you to reach out to someone else. Not face to face, but pick up the phone, text message, Facebook, Facebook Messenger. There's so many ways isn't it amazing that all of these things that we thought were such hard and difficult things, all of these technologies that we've struggled with, may actually make it easier to be in community together. And so I invite you, child, be strong in God's grace. Let his love overwhelm you and overwhelm others with that same love. I'd like to Take a moment to pray. Now, usually we have Dixie Talbot here and she has a list of prayer requests that have come through. And obviously we don't have that today. But what I do have is something called a bidding prayer where at different intervals I will stop 
and give you a second in your own prayers to lift somebody up or lift up a circumstance. You are also welcome to type those prayers into the Facebook uh, comments below. But let us take a moment to share our prayers today. Let us pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, in Christ you taught us to pray and promised always to listen. Hear our prayers for the church and our leaders. Hear our prayer for our congregations. Hear our prayer for this beautiful earth. For our nation's leaders. For our local communities and those making decisions around us. For those we know will struggle economically during this time. For the grieving. For the lonely who feel the distance widening. For all those who need healing. And for those who we rely on for healing. Guide us, O God, by your Holy Spirit, that all our prayers and all our lives may serve you and show your love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, may the grace of the Lord be with you all. May you go in peace and may you cling to his love. Amen. Peace be with you.